Will you, you will you walk into my parlor? Said the spider to the fly. Tis pretty test, my little parlor. Did you ever spy the way my parlor was a winding up a winding star? And I had many curious things she knew that are down there. Oh, that. And I have many curious things to shoot when you are there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, said the little fly. It ask to me is in my vein. For whoever goes up, your winding star can near come down again. I'm sure you must be, re be ready, dear. With a soaring up so high, with the re will you rest upon my bed? Said the spider to the fly. There are pretty cushions. There are, there are pretty cushions. There are pretty cushions around the sheet and are fine bed. And if you rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, oh no! Said this little. I. Oh, oh no, said the spider. I often heard you said they never wake up again. For those asleep upon your bed, said the curling spider to the fly. Dear friend, what can I do for you? A party good story. What a kind, kind you be in kind sir. I cannot be. Heard or a pantry or not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you are witty and wise. You have little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. You yeah, I thank you, you gentle sir, she said, for the pleased day and blinding for you. Good morning now, I'll call another day. He He tucked the spider turned around to his den with a silly flesh and came back down. So he drew a subtitle of a little corner and the table was ready to dine upon the fly. The egg came higher and higher with the pretty fly pearl on the silver wing. Your robes are good and purple. The crest upon my head is like your eyes of diamond bear as dull as my little head and your eyes are as dull as lead. Alas, alas, said the silly fly. He uh, really flat and worse, came slowly flying down, thinking upon her brilliant eyes, the green porous eyes, purple husk, thinking about the crease, poor foolish thing at last, and dragged her up uh, the winding star, the, miss the missile within the parlor den. And, dear little child, who read this story, the idol said, Fattering words will give heed to an unevil consort. Ear, ear, the ear. Take a lesson in this tale of the spider and the fly. The end! No, 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 not the end! No, not the end! I have to. I have to do something! Um. Sorry, read. That end of silly fly words. I pray you're near the heat. The evil curse. Pull her ears and eyes. Take a lesson from the tail of the spider and the flock. Will you walk into my parlor? Said the spider, spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spot. The way into my parlor is up the winding stair, and I have many curious things to sure when you are there. Oh, no, 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 said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can near come down again. I'm sure you must be where, dear, we're soaring up so high. Well, you're rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin, and if you like to rest a while, I'll snuggle, I'll snuggle and tuck you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. For I, all there had 
it said they never, never walk again who sleep up your bed, said the cunning spider to the fly. Dear friend, what do you I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all the nice. I'm sure if you're very welcome, will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that can't be. I have heard what's in your pantry, I, wait, and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the, the spider. You're witty and you're wise. You're handsome and you're gazy wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I've looking glass upon my parlor shelf. I've stepped in one moment, dear. You shall behold yourself. I think you are getting, sir. She, she said, for what you please to say and bring you good morning. Now I'll call another day. The spider turned him around about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove subtle web in a little corner slide and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and the Merle did sing again. Sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with a pearl and silver wing. Your ropes are green and purple. That's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like a diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his willy, flattering words came slowly, fitting by with buzzing wings. She hung alo aloft, then near and nearer drew thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple her thinking only of her crested head pulling foolish things at last up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast he dragged her up the winding stair into his dismissal den. Within his little parlor, parlor, but she never near came out again. And, and now, dear little children, who may this story read to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you near give head unto a evil counselor close heart and ear eye and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. You walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little peril that ever you did spy. The way into my peril is up a winding star. And I have many curious things to shoe when you are. 
Oh, no, 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 said the little fly. To ask me in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. I'm sure you must be wary, dear, with soaring up so high. You, Will you rest upon my little bed, said, said the spider to the fly. And if you like to rest a, a while, I'll shrunkly, shrunkly tuck you in. Wait, where is that? It's you. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Said the fly. You said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot I've heard what's in your pantry. No, and that's the wrong thing. Aww. It's the bed. Oh, no, no, no. Said, said the little fly. For I've often heard it said they never, never awake again who sleeps upon your bed. You said the spider the fly. to the fly. Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, no said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard that what's in your pantry and I do not want to see. Okay, sweet creature, said the spider. You are witty and you're wise. You're witty and the wise. How handsome are you, Guzzle's wings, brighter than your eyes. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you, you're pleased to say, and being you, Good morning, now I'll call another day. The spider turned him around round about and went into his den, for well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he woofed a subtle web in a little corner, sly, and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out his door again, her murphly did sing, your robes are green and purple. There are crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond. Teachers and bright. students, pardon the interruption. Um, the supplier who brings us. Alas, alas, however, soon the silly little fly, hearing his willy flattering words, came slowly fitting by, thinking only of our brilliant eyes and green and purple hue. Thinking only of her crested head, for a foolish thing at last up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up, his wind, his, um, his winding spare into his damsel den within his little parlor. But the news came out again. And now, dear little children, who may this story read? The idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you near give head. He 
and to an evil counselor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly, the spider and the fly. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor you ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I have many creatures, things to sue when you are there. Oh, no, no, said the little fly to ask me in is in vain for who goes up your winding stair can near come down again I, i'm so you might be wavy dear with soaring up so high will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly tis the prettiest curtains down around the seats all fine and thin and if you like to rest a lie, I'll certainly tuck you in. Oh, oh no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your windings? For no. I, for oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said they never, never walk again. Wait. Who sleeps upon your bed? Said the cuddling spider to the fly. Dear, what can I do to prove the warm attention I've always felt for you? I have within my pretty good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your parlor and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're wavy and you're wise. wise. How handsome are your glazing rings. How brilliant are your eyes. I've a, I've a looking glass upon my parlor cell. If you step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you. And okay. and bidding you good. Morning now, I, I'll, can, I'll call another day. The spider turned him round about and went in his den. For well he knew that silly fly will soon come back again. So he wove a serpentine web in his little corner side and sat his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again, and Morley did sing, Come, highly, highly, pretty fly, with the pearly and pearl and silver wings, your rose are green and purple, there's clutch, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamonds, bright, but mine are dull, dull as lead. Azza, azza! How very soon the silly little fly, hearing the 
really flitting words came slowly flitting by. Then, with buzzing wings, she hang along, then nearly and near to, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hair, thinking of her crest head, poor foolish thing. At last, he up jumped the cuddling spider and failing he held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dangling den. Within his little parlor did she near come out again. And new dear little children who may this story read to idea idiot silly um flitting words I pray you never give heed unto an evil country close heart and ear and eyes and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly.